Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here at the Connecticut Science Center in our capital city. Joined by Jace. Good morning. Morning, Mark. How are you? Doing well. Um, so we've got a, a catch basin here. I see some water. What, what do you have planned for us? Yeah, so we're going to do a little experiment with water and kind of make it defy gravity. Okay. So to start, our little setup today is we have a mason jar. And on our mason jar, we have some mesh on top, rubber band on, so it'll stay nice and snug to the mason jar. Okay. And all we're going to do for now is I'm going to fill this mason jar full up of water. I'll add some water. Get that nice and full. Okay. Now, Mark, if I flip this upside down, what do you think might happen? I, I would expect the water to come out. Right. So, no tricks here. Okay. The water pours right out. All right. Nothing fancy going on. But we're going to do something a little different for our second test. So, I'm going to fill it back up. Okay. I'm noticing you're not filling it like 100% to the brim. Does that matter in this? Um, demonstration? So not totally. We could go a little higher up. I'm just leaving a little bit of space just to give us a little bit of an easier time with it, but we could go all the way up to the top if we wanted to. <laughs> so what we're going to do different this time is I'm going to take a piece of cardstock, so a little bit of a thicker piece of paper. I'm going to place that on top, and then we're just going to slowly flip this upside down. Gotcha. And now that we're upside down here, I'm going to very slowly start to remove the cardstock, slide that out. And voila. And uh -huh. our water is staying in. So water and liquids in general have something called surface tension, and that's the attraction of the molecules, the things that make up the liquid, together. So water has a remarkably high surface tension. And what we're actually seeing is, in each of the little squares of the mesh, we're making something called a meniscus of the water. And that meniscus is very strong. Sands it pouring out right there. The meniscus is pretty strong, so it's able to support all this water pushing down on it and keep it inside the container. Now, what just happened there is I shifted a little bit. As soon as we turn, it, the meniscus can't support the water as well, yep. and it all pours out. So the angles are a little important to this experiment, but overall, we were able to kind of keep water in upside down by just using that self, essentially. Awesome. So it looks like a trick, but it's actually science. It's just science. It's just science. Excellent. Um, so uh, here at the Science Center, lots of things happening. Yeah. And this time of year, kids are out of school. Mm -hmm. Normally, you're not open every day of the week, but now you are. Yeah, so we'll be kicking off our summer hours starting soon. So we'll be open from 9 to 4 daily. Um, there'll be a lot of cool stuff every day to check out. We'll have daily life science up on the floors. We still have our science fiction, science future exhibit up. We'll also have some special events coming up, such as a Pokemon Day and oh. a Star Wars Day. OK. So yeah, lots of cool stuff to come check out. OK, good stuff. So ctsciencecenter.org is where you can go to learn more about all of the offerings and even get your tickets in advance. Yeah. All right. Jason, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.